Hey, what is going on, you guys? My name is Paul. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, I just want to give you kind of a quick overview of what happened and what's happening currently in our shop since last video was, I don't know, eight, nine months ago. Since, well, the last one that I posted that was recent, but uh, you guys haven't seen the shop for probably eight months ago. For those of you that are old subscribers, I don't mean old people, just older. I don't know how to put it. Just people that subscribed earlier. So if you're new to this channel and if you just uh, got onto this video first time, welcome. Uh, this is Parts That Fit. We sell used auto parts on eBay. So uh, we'll start with this uh, shop where we do this assembly. Um, not much changed here. I am looking to, uh, to put up one more lift. <clears throat> As you can see, we got one. All those shelves are getting out of there. That's why you're seeing them empty. I am currently trying to work on this. I really don't have time. Um, running business is not as easy. It's either you're in the business working or you're working on your business. So I'm currently working in my business, which I don't like, but there's not much I can do. So all this is going out. All of this is leaving. Pretty much all the shelves are getting, gonna be out of here with the exception of that one, I think, and that's it. Um, just picked up another lift. It's been sitting in my shop for two months just on the floor so this one and i'm going to rotate them to kind of have vehicles this way so we have plenty of room because a lot of times we get orders phone calls and orders over the phone that and if this is occupied i can't bring another vehicle in to pull something off that somebody ordered but this is it for now um it's probably been the same it is messy because we're busy as you can see Lots of mess. So let's get into the office. Not much changed here. At least it's not as busy, messy in here. This area didn't change much. I'm sure you guys recognize all of the shelves that I built. It is messy because we're busy, like I said. Um, I still have 20 something orders to pack. I'll just get those tomorrow. I'm done for today. But all stocked on boxes. I pretty much have every single box. And see, this is our uh, box pile. All neighbors and stuff like that. They just bring, drop them off, and we use them. All boxes are pretty much, if you go on newline.com, click on their sale boxes. They're pretty much all here. I got every single size that they uh, offer on sale with the exception of the some of the smallest ones. I think the smallest one I got is going to be a 6x4x4. By four by four. Like this. This is probably the smallest you need because uh, your labels are 4x8 four or 4x6. Four Anything smaller, you'll have to put your label weirdly. But um, all this... As you can see, this is all photographed. I do have a photographer. He's not a photographer. He's just an employee that does photography. Got a fridge that's new, which is, it's not new, it's used, but it's new for us. This one, it's gonna, might be parted out. For some reason, the door is not closing. Whatever. Um, this is our aisles. A lot of bins. And we hanged up lighting. After two years being in the dark, we finally figured out to put some lights in here. But as you can see, things are filling up and I'm out of storage. I'm getting pretty much packed up to the ceiling. Which, uh, to be honest, on camera, it looks way fuller than it is in real life, but it's full. I mean, we do have a little bit of space here. We got two or three opened. Uh, majority of all this stuff is pretty much packed. Um, still using the Checkmate or Car Part Checkmate software. Um, working very well. I don't know if it saves time on actually listing stuff i think it might be a little 
uh, more time consuming to list something because you have to do it all through through the system but when it comes to organizing and scanning i think it does speed up the process uh having barcodes um and having a few to use your phone to scan i i think it does speed up the process so if ebay comes up with something similar where you can print tags for your parts or items and actually which ebay if you're listening this is a good idea if you guys come up with something where you can print a tag with your listing and then keep it with the part having all the um everything that you need on it pretty much like if you look at it, one of these tags see how it says oh that's the wheel it came from a 11 through 13 honda odyssey it's 17 like if it, if they would be able to print something like this that could be tracked with the part i mean that would be a game changer i think that that would make so many resellers lives easier because everything has it um we do very rarely lose a part which i think it's due to um misplacing it i, I mean not lose a part we haven't actually ever lost the part but we've misplaced it let's say uh you're digging on the shelf and something falls off and you're just lazy and you don't want to go check or and you just shove it back in that's when things get lost but i think over the two years we've been using this system we're getting pretty good at it and we kind of try to figure everything out so uh, overall everything's running good um like october november december are slower months in auto parts that's what i found out from previous years and this is what's going to happen this year again and i think october was already slower than september so it's slowly uh slowing down for auto parts but it doesn't make me stop doing the job because the more you list the more eventually you'll sell so currently we got over fifteen thousand items listed and i even have my older tags still as you can see i haven't went through and sent them to checkmate i don't think there's any point of doing that car part sales are very slow i don't even say there are any sales on there we do sell some major parts like doors quarters hoods bumpers but anything after that all it is is a bunch of phone talks and waste of time so if you're thinking about moving to car part i don't know if they're really good it's probably good for a junkyard that has vehicles because a lot of people whenever they see our photos they don't really call us because they probably need something else whenever you see things in car part and you see that you need multiple parts you see that they have that vehicle and then you call them but with our parts we don't really list the vehicle on there and from my experience i really don't enjoy talking to people that ask for discounts pretty much every five seconds of the conversation so i think ebay is the way to go if you want a discount you send us an offer you, if we like it we'll we'll uh, accept it if we don't we'll then decline it it's as easy as it is but yeah so far everything's going well um i did want to update our warehouse i did find a couple spots but i'm kind of terrified because it's going to triple this unit which is going to obviously be double in price not triple in price just double um so we picked um our neighbor's spot across the parking lot um i'll probably show you here in a little bit um and that's why all of this shelving is gonna go to both of those i actually own that one too but i let it go too many or too many bills i should say and it's kind of it's on its own so it was far away but so this is my current office and that's my kids playroom i'm not gonna show you that it's dirty so I've had this for a few months, maybe less than a few months. But started setting up all the shelving in here. As you can see all our big items. Uh, the problem with owning these units, 
are forklift so if you can see this concrete line is half so there's two units so it's a half so for my forklift to loop around or even get on the shelf i have to have this space maybe i could move it two feet that's probably probably like right there so these units are just a waste of space and for my operation i mean it's perfect for a mechanic shop or something of that nature but for us um it's kind of i mean i took it because it was available and i thought you know what it's gonna help me do whatever i need for the time being but again those things go up there that's pretty much all filled up as long as i move everything here this is filled up i'm gonna run the same row up against that wall and two bays in the middle which i can't go too far because of these units and the ceilings aren't tall enough so this is it this is the addition that we had which is only a temporary uh addition i would say my goal is to get a higher shop this is a 17 foot tall my forklift reaches up to 16 or 18 something of like that so i'm looking for a shop that's at least 20 feet in the air so because you don't really pay for height you all pay for square foot so but yeah it's still nice enough this is bigger and also it includes an office where i can do all my dealership stuff and all the paperwork and things like that so it helps me be kind of away from all my workers if i need like a boss alone time or important phone calls or whatever just temporary stickers for dealership inspections see we sell parts here all right guys thank you very much for watching today's video uh, follow me on instagram if you don't know parts that fit um i do post not frequently anymore but i do try to post at least a couple posts a week so um and that's pretty much up to date if you guys want to see more things um anything else that i want that you guys want me to post uh share it because i feel like everything i do is not interesting anymore so if something interests you i'll leave it in the comments if you want to see something leave it in the comments because like i said not everything is interesting to me anymore even if i watch other guys on youtube that things that i've already done it doesn't interest me so just make sure to leave it um go to my instagram send me a message if you need anything i try to be on top of them all the time but without being said please subscribe if you feel like it and if consider subscribing if you feel like it bye bye i gotta check my sales to know what exactly i need to ship tomorrow 23 things to pack which is probably going to be close to 40 or 50 by the morning all right adios